BDS. Who knows what that means? I want you all to know what this means. It stands for boycott, divestment, and sanctions against the state of Israel. The purpose, according to the founder of BDS, a man named Omar Bagudi, is the destruction and elimination of the state of Israel. So every time in the press you read about BDS, remember the words of Omar Bagudi, we will remove Israel from the face of the earth. And every member of that movement around the world, especially in American college campuses, has the same goal. Don't for a second think it's anything of that because the guy that founded it, he said that's his goal. He says it every day. It's on the internet. It's not a secret. You don't have to dig it up somewhere. He puts it on Google daily. What is BDS and what's its purpose? They say it's to create a fairer state for the Palestinians. That's the official line. And they say it's a new movement to eliminate apartheid in Israel. How many people have been to Israel? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see those hands. Men and women walk down the street together as equals. Men and women vote. Men and women have jobs. Men and women can fight in the army, as my friend from Israel just mentioned. Supreme Court, Prime Minister of the State, doctors, lawyers, politicians, business people are women, not covered in a sack, making them a second class citizen. They have the equal vote. Not one quarter of a vote, not one half a vote like in Islam. They are equal to the men. The only country in the Middle East where a woman is equal to a man is the state of Israel. For those of you who know history, apartheid was a disgusting status of second class because of skin color and race. You couldn't vote, you couldn't own property, you couldn't go places, you couldn't have a certain job, you had to go to a certain restroom, you had to drink out of a separate faucet, you had to get on a different bus, you couldn't live in a neighborhood. That's apartheid. Don't you ever let anyone tell you that Israel is an apartheid state because they are a liar and most of them have never been there. In fact, what they normally say is, well, I read it on the internet or I saw it on the news. And you know what? It's BS. Go to Israel, get the truth, and then tell people. Don't you ever let anyone tell you it's an apartheid state because they're liars.